So the Office of Community-Based Learning is both a curricular space and a co-curricular space supported by the Academic and the Student Affairs Division. In the curricular space, we support courses that want to integrate uh, community experiences. And then we also have uh, co-curricular volunteer programs. So we have what we call our signature volunteer experiences. Um, Talmar, which is um, a horticultural center in Baltimore County, is a great program that offers kind of opportunities for individuals in the community with veterans with PTSD and anyone um, that has a disability. I, as well as my volunteers, come every week and we help kind of maintain the grounds, do whatever it is that Kate, the farm manager, needs from us. My program is Read a Story, Write a Story. The partnership is with Barclay Elementary School. We work with kindergartners and first graders. It's an after-school program. It focuses on literacy skills. I don't think we're just focusing on literacy skills, but we're also kind of focusing on a child's creativity. They get to um, create their own books and become authors of their own stories. This is Earl's Place. And basically what we do is we take a group of Goucher students down every Thursday to Earl's Place Transitional Housing. We just engage in creative art projects with the men and create a really sustainable, mutually beneficial relationship. It's pretty, it, it seems basic, but it's really important. One of the things that makes um, Goucher's Community-Based Learning Program distinctive is that we allow our students um, to have their own sort of autonomy and, and voice in directing programs. But at the same time, through the Student Leaders for Civic Action Program, we provide quite a lot of infrastructure for them to do that. So it gives really strong pre-professional skills while balancing with um, pretty intensive training in reflection, in power and privilege dynamics, in having conversations around race and racism, and understanding Baltimore, understanding the history of Baltimore, right? There's a lot of elements that sort of go into the training that our student leaders receive over the course of a year, and sometimes multiple years, depending on how long they are in their role. That we find that our students who do community-based work and are really, really serious about it, these students are, are so open-hearted and are the sorts of folks that people want to work with in the world because they've taken the time to think about them, their relationship to the rest of the world. Goucher has caused me to ask why and like what is the bigger question behind it. Instead of looking at what can we do to change this, I'm looking at why is it the way that it is in order to create some sort of change or some or move forward? It, it did help sort of expand my mind and, and help me recognize the privilege that I do have. Coming to any space, you should be able to recognize your privilege and understand like you see the world through your own lens and you sort of have to decipher how you navigate that. And I think it's you know, partly my responsibility to kind of be a part of the work that's being done. Um, and a lot of that work is already being done, like for example, here at Talmar, and we're just helping support that. It's definitely been really eye-opening to kind of see how many organizations there are and how much amazing work is taking place. And to be a part of that is like a really great opportunity. Our community partners are so thankful to have students that really get it, right? They're, they're going out there and they're, they're understanding their relationship, the relationship, the sort of the power relationship of the college to the community, our students address that openly, right? And our community partners want to hire our students when our, these students are graduating because they are extraordinary, extraordinary people. Uh, CBL is a wonderful way to engage in like a facilitated um, experience outside of the Goucher community. And without CBL, I wouldn't have met so many great people and I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be here at Earl's place today. So, shout out to CBL.